First and foremost, the usage of drones helps us to reduce a time of a particular activity drastically or let's say by 50% we can assume it to be 50%. So that has created a demand for this particular work. Now to cater for that demand first and foremost, we need the pilots. Hi all, I am Aditya Patil, working as a drone instructor in Marut Drone Tech Private Limited in accordance with NIPHM. So coming to this RPC course, this is a DGCA certified RPC course. RPC stands for Remote Pilot Certificate that is basically like a license. What's a license? So nowadays to uh, drive a two-wheeler or a four-wheeler, the way we require a license to operate that particular vehicle, we also need a license to operate the drone. So that's what a, this RPC course or this RPC is conducted for. In this, we have a minimum of five days of training. So in the five days, the first two days are for the theoretical training. So what all we teach is that the types of drones, then we teach them the DGCA rules and regulations that has been separately set only for drones. Then we teach about the different types of drones, their working and their components. We understand what each component is used for and what's the purpose of that particular component. Then we understand how any, let's say, if there is a body, how is that able to fly? So there are a few forces, there are a few laws, there are a few equations that undergo or we are have to understand what are those equations which allows that particular body to fly in a particular way or the way we want it to. Then we have the applications of drones. So as applications are concerned, nowadays it is majorly into agriculture. But apart from agriculture, we have videography, photography and the second most used uh, application is the survey and mapping. On the third day, we start off with a simulation session. So the simulation is basically for to get anyone on board into the drone ecosystem. How do you get on board means what are the controls? Where are the controls? Or like, let's say if this is a joystick, there are two sticks on the joystick. What is the purpose of each stick? What are the controls on that one individual stick? We are teaching them first on the simulator. We are asking them to do a few patterns such as square, circle or a figure of eight into the simulator so that that is being accustomed to them before they go to the flight. Fourth day and the fifth day are primarily for flying. Here, whatever we have done the practices in the simulator, we are doing it on the actual ground and visualizing as to how our controls are. The things will be different when it comes to simulator and the actual because in the simulator there are ideal conditions, which means there will be no rain, there will be no wind or any kind of a different with related to the weather. But when we go to the actual flying, there will be differences. Now, how do we reduce those differences or how do we negate the differences for our stable flying is what we are basically doing in the last two days of the flying. On the end of the course, we take a small test as to is it, is the other controls of the pilot good or no? Is he able to move the drone or maneuver the drone as required to the particular standards yes or no? All these things tests are done and then finally he is being awarded with the drone pilot certificate or the RPC that is the remote pilot certificate. So this course can be done or learned by anyone who is more than 18 years of age and a minimum of 10th pass. That is the basic eligibility criteria that has been set by the DGCA. Anyone who wishes to learn how to fire drone can enroll into this particular course.